We are back. This video is pretty much, uh, it's not a top choice or whatever. It's just the physical editions of the games that I bought during this quarantine. I know that the quarantine is kind of over, but still a couple of them. Well, the majority of them I haven't played. Okay, first one is the council. I have to admit that this is kind of like my uh, guilty pleasure. Honestly, because there's a lot of games coming out and this game uh, have been released in 2018, if I'm not mistaken. Around that. Uh, I think it was March. Uh, this game is very, very cool. It's like a combination of Telltale games with RPG components on the 19th century. You can even speak with Bonaparte and George Washington. So there's that this game has like i said as uh, rpg components because you have um, a skill tree in which you can uh, choose three main uh, branches occultists politicians or politics and detective so in between this you have a lot of side branches if we can call it like that and in which you can pick up uh, all those side branches with that said you play as louis de richet the Riche, yeah, he's French. Louis and his mother are both part of an organization, Illuminati-like, called Golden Order. While uh, on business on uh, Lords Mortimore Island, his mother got lost and no one knows anything about it. So that's our mission. Second game that I picked up is Trover Save the Universe. Uh, this is from the producers of uh, Rick and Morty and actually the, the voice actor that uh, does the job of Morty on Rick and Morty, uh, it's here. So it's a short story, I still haven't played it, but I do definitely know that it's a story in which you have... Well, there's no other way, you have to laugh, okay? Third game on, on the list, like I said, it's not a top, it's just the physical games that I got uh, during the quarantine. It's Spongebob, Squarepants, yeah, it's, it's pretty recent, so I still haven't had the time to play it um, until the end, because I already started the game. I'm right now on the second world. I don't know how to put this, because the game kind of gives you an idea of an open world but you can't exactly go to specific parts of the map so there's a hand that pulls you back to the track well the story it's pretty much bad guy plankton that are trying to to take over that place where spongebob lives he tried to spawn or he tried to evoke a group of robots uh, to work to him but uh, accidentally he press a wrong button so they don't really care about plankton so they are taking the the place over uh, by their their own ideas that's where spongebob enters and uh, saves the, um, the day it's pretty much like that but yeah you can play with spongebob you can play with patrick and you can play with i don't remember her name sandy right i would not say that i'm a real crazy about spongebob but i like spongebob and uh, that's why i picked the game the game is not that uh, expensive though it's around 30 euros if i'm not mistaken so if you guys like platforming it's a 3d and it's a, a, a remastered if i'm not mistaken from the original one but i never played the game looks and plays uh, very good. So yeah, that's that's why I picked it up. The fourth game on the list is Call of Cthulhu. It's actually like a detective game, a game where you have to, to gather some information and you have to speak with people. You have to check about clues. Why I still have a... Okay. I'm very intrigued about it. Uh, I've seen a couple of gameplay. I prefer to play the game by myself and not... Um, seeing other people streaming for instance most of the times i tend to watch a little bit of the gameplay and not get spoiled by the story it's pretty much to see the the mechanics the graphics and how the gameplay is in general so yeah i picked this up and uh, i still have to try it i don't have time there's so many games getting released nowadays and last but not the least it's the last of us part two a lot of People asked me and, and told me, why have you uh, bought the part 2 and you haven't still played the first part? Now I have played the first part. Take that. It wasn't uneasy. I beat the game and I only received one trophy. And I was sad because I like to collect the trophies. I'm not 
gonna say that I'm crazy about them, but I do really like to collect them. So apart from the games, I like to collect the achievements as well. So yeah, this was the, the games that I bought. Like I said, this is not a, a top five or top games that you have to play. It's just my list of games that I bought on, uh, on the quarantine. With that said, I hope that you guys enjoyed. And if you already played some of these games, let me know on the comments below. If you liked the video, drop a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel I don't know do, do all of those things that the majority of people say on YouTube hey that actually helped the channel grow so I count on you to be part of the community as well bye bye